Welcome back to my channel everybody, I'm Rose and today I'm going to be turning myself into past emo me. So like I did research before this video, basically I wanted to do turning myself into the scene queen I always wanted to be. Upon like researching actually pictures of like emo girls and scene girls, I realised I more wanted to be like one of the emo girls. And I just didn't know what to do, I was like I don't know what makeup to do, I don't know how to do my hair. So I thought well I might just like base it off of how I used to look. I'll insert some pictures now. I went through like a few hair colours and I literally had the ultimate fringe. I would specifically cut it in and use so much bloody hairspray it was insane. So I kind of really struggled with this emo look I did to get the right hair but I did my best basically. Oh I just want to mention quick, I finally hit 400 subscribers which is really exciting to me. Thank you if you're one of the people that is subscribed. To me it feels like loads. I remember when I literally had 40 subscribers and now to have 400 is that's pretty crazy but yeah thank you and while i'm at it don't forget to like and subscribe this video thank you <laughs> i don't really know what else to say so keep on watching if you want to see me transforming from this to my emo self let's get into it ew I look so vile right now. So please excuse my hair right now. This is just the start. I want to start with my hair. F I've got so many bits in my eyes right now. I want to start with my hair first because that's the bit I feel like is going to go the worst. So I want to get it over with, basically. I literally never have my hair straight. So this feels like super different for me in a way. So obviously I've parted my hair over here and I've like swooped my fringe over to get the start of it. And first step of the scene hair or emo hair, I'm going to use my Bablis Root Boosters, which is what I actually used back when I was an emo scene girl they're like root boosters like you know the mighty boosh hey, not a root boost. I'm sponsored by root booster jerk off just section off the hair and then it like literally really finely crimps your roots and then it gives you volume I literally lived off these back in the day we want to get as much volume as possible do not hold back on it and the key is to like really like do it like you're damaging your hair because when your hair's damaged <laughs> That's when it stays in place. Oh my god, get out of my face. Okay, that's not so bad. That's like getting there. Fringe is so vital, so I need to try and get this right. So what I used to do is I sweep my hair to the side like this, then hairspray it, and then I would like pull it down. I used to get the Tesco value one because it was like utter glue. <laughs> it's kind of getting there, it looked like crap, but never mind. Jesus, bloody Christ. It looks shit, but it's as good as I can do for now. I think my hair used to go so good, like, volume-wise, because I had so many short layers cut in. And my fringe obviously isn't gonna go the same because I used to hand cut it myself to be like that. I don't know. <sighs> it was like a homemade invention, basically. Basically, before this video, oh, I look so utterly minging right now. <laughs> Basically, I'm gonna do a look from how I used to look, but I'm gonna make it into like my days, like better makeup. And now it's even better because I actually have tattoos and piercings. I really wanted like crazy colored hair and piercings. Like I think I did have my nostril pierced and my belly pierced, but that was it. But to have like my septum done and my ears actually stretched now, that's like the dream for back then. <laughs> I've got these to put in my ears. I'm gonna change my septum to this like jewelry one because it's more like on show. So I'm just gonna do that now. Did anybody else used to spend so much time watching videos of people piercing themselves at home? <laughs> Because, like, where I wasn't old enough to get them done on my own, ow. I used to always watch videos of people, like, piercing their own lip and septum. I pierced my septum, like, three times until I went to go and actually get it done in the shop. That was, hands down, the most painful piercing I've ever done on my own. When I was younger, I stretched my ear, like, because obviously my parents wouldn't let me have stretched ears back then. And I stretched my ear, like, so quick in one night that it split oh god it was bad like literally blood went all down my top it was absolutely vile and there was that one phase in like year 10 where i had bright red hair and that was the best that was my best emo phase because i finally had like cool hair that i wanted and it wasn't just plain blonde but unfortunately it was really short-lived because um the school was not happy about it so they ruined my aesthetic for me so we've got the emo <laughs> tunnels in Oh, I look so minging, it's unbelievable. Let's wax some makeup on and try and make it a little bit better. I don't even think I really used to wear foundation back then. I think I would literally do winged eyeliner and mascara. Okay, this makes me feel a little bit better already. I think because my face was red, I felt like extra gross. 
<laughs> this is so frustrating, this fringe in my way. What the? I'm in the middle of filming a video. <laughs> That's my real hair. <laughs> Stick some powder under the eyes. So I know typically emo kids wouldn't contour and stuff, but obviously I want to try... Cool. The whole point in this video is to try and look nice like how I wanted to back then basically so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do some like contour and bronzing Just gonna um, drink out of the bottle to you know reminisce about the days of being emo and getting drunk in the parks <laughs> I can still just taste hairspray it's literally like my lungs must be coated I used to put so much hairspray in my fringe that at one point <laughs> my fringe was just like white and I couldn't work out why but it turns out it was hairspray build up. Okay, highlight I'm using my Becca Champagne Pop which is utterly smashed to smithereens because I literally would do my makeup according to what was on show. My eyebrows would not be on show whatsoever so I wouldn't touch my eyebrows, they'd just be like this underneath. Just give myself some eyebrows. I don't know why I just spent like 20 minutes on my eyebrows and they actually just look like blocks. Everybody had block crap eyebrows back then, so in that case I actually did a really good job. Okay, I think I'm gonna do like a dark purple eye. Um, so I'm gonna use the Bloodlust palette by Jeffree Star. And I'm gonna do like a normal purple eye like I would, but I'm gonna really darken it up to make it emo-y. So I'm gonna start out with the shade Vivid Mood and sort of put that in the crease slash all over. So let's talk <laughs> bands, because you can't be an emo without having the right music taste. It's just a fact, like the music is one of the biggest parts of like what makes you emo. So my favourite bands, like the whole emo thing for me started off with Avril Lavigne. My two best friends in year seven, they like literally loved Avril Lavigne so I guess that's what got me into Avril Lavigne. I can't really remember what it moved on to but I really loved Paramore. Obviously I still love Paramore but Paramore were Oh god, I love them. I still remember the first time I saw them on Kerrang! on TV. It was Misery Business. I remember watching the music video and I was like totally glued to it. And I'm never usually interested in like new music videos on Kerrang! I just want to hear like the music I know already. Anyway, I saw it and I didn't know what it was and I didn't think anything of it. And then when I was on MSN to like my new friend from school, she was just saying to me, um, oh, do you like Paramore? We were I guess we were talking about bands and she was like, oh, do you like Paramore? I was like, oh, who's that? So I looked them up and I was like, oh shit, yeah. We've got the purple under the eyes. We're gonna go full blown purple before we deepen it up. But I'm gonna go in with a bit of a darker purple um, Blood Queen and then like deepen it up in the crease and such. I'm really looking forward to seeing the ending result of this because I feel like it's gonna go well. Like I'm starting to feel the vibes. It honestly makes me so happy to see emo kids these days because you do see them. Like legit emo's how I used to be when I was younger. It's the best. If you're one of those kids then keep it up because you're making the world go round. <laughs> Attempt to deepen this up. I think before I go like super dark with Executioner because that's like the darkest freaking eyeshadow I've ever owned. I'm gonna go in with Dungeon and do like ah, black like all over the lid. I've never done this before so I'm kind of scared. Going in with Executioner. So when it came to heavier music, I really loved Bring Me The Horizon, of course. I loved Drop Dead. Obviously I was young so I didn't have an income because I didn't have a job or anything. So any money I'd get it would be from asking my parents. So I remember one time Drop Dead did like this sale and they were doing like five pound t-shirts it's the best ever i had the blue t-shirt with the massive kitty head on it that was when back when drop dead was called i heart drop dead and it wasn't like the most expensive thing in the whole world um i obviously like slipknot because you know the top i much preferred like older slipknot to newer slipknot i had like a little bit of a pierce the bell stage that was more like as i was growing out of the emo thing I, by the way i know my hair's looked crazy throughout all of this but i'm gonna like sort it out at the end right so obviously i need to do a big chunky winged eyeliner oh, my ring light has blinded me and i can't see no more okay so i'm gonna put lashes on and like sort something out of my lips and then i will come back with the finished look so see you in just a tick okay so <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is the finished look. My hair is nowhere near choppy enough to get it as like volumized as I usually like it. I'd like usually liked it. It's like I <laughs> Yeah, my hair's nowhere near choppy enough to get the volume I would like. Like, it's just far too long. My layers would have been up here. I did have, like, darker lipstick on to match the eyes. It literally didn't feel right with this look. Like, it felt, like, too, like, fake emo. <laughs> so I literally just used, like, some lip liner and kept it, like, a bit more natural. So, this is my 
emo look. I really had fun making this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. Before we leave, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. It is very much appreciated. I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye!